The AstraZeneca vaccine was celebrated as a breakthrough in the fight against coronavirus. But as more and more countries suspend use of the jab, including Germany, Italy, France and Spain, concerns have been raised over the safety of the vaccine and a potential link to blood clots that have been reported in some recipients. Scientists and regulators are insistent that there is nothing to fear. Of the 17 million doses that have been administered across Europe and Britain, only 37 clots have been picked up. This is a minute percentage. AstraZeneca has said that the incidence of these adverse events is much lower than would be expected to occur naturally in a general population of this size and is similar to that of other licensed COVID-19 vaccines. The reality is that no causal link has been established between the vaccine and the clots. Blood clots are formed when platelets and red blood cells clump together, restricting the flow of blood. These clots are healthy and life-saving when they stop bleeding, but in a worst case scenario, these clumps may not dissolve and will instead travel through the body resulting in blockages and serious effects such as a stroke or heart failure. From day one, experts have cautioned against drawing invisible lines between the vaccines and unexpected poor health that follows, but is not caused by inoculation. The law of averages tells us that there will be people who fall ill or even die in the wake of receiving a vaccine. This probability is heightened when taking into consideration the current cohort of recipients a majority of whom are older, not as active, and more inclined to developing health complications. In a press conference held on Tuesday, the European Medicines Agency said it remained firmly convinced that the benefits of the AstraZeneca vaccine outweigh all risks. So I want to also stress that at present, there is no indication that vaccination has caused these conditions. They have not come up in the clinical trials and they're not listed as known or, or expected side events with this vaccine. The number of thromboembolic events overall in the vaccinated people seems not to be higher than that seen in the general population. Even so, the EMA has said it's currently investigating each reported blood clot on a case-by-case -case basis. But despite these reassurances, much of Western Europe has temporarily paused use of the vaccine, choosing caution over speed, even as infections threaten to surge. Given the clear safety data that we have on the jab, it's a risky move that could ultimately hinder Europe's recovery and prolong the time it takes to build up protection among its populations. More than this, experts are worried that these developments could undermine confidence in the jab in the European Union, 54% of doses of the AstraZeneca vaccine have gone unused, and only 13% of the Pfizer vaccine doses have gone unused, which suggests that there have been a lot of people turning down these appointments for AstraZeneca, and news like this is only going to increase those numbers, unfortunately. Of course, the EMA and other regulators are ultimately right to investigate these reports. This is standard practice for all vaccines, and will help to bring clarity and assurance to any lingering doubts that people may have. Guaranteeing trust in these products is crucial, Vaccination is not a matter of compulsion, but only works where there is confidence and faith in what is being injected into people's arms. This is the argument that will be put forward by the likes of Germany, France and others, which have broken rank with the guidance put out by the EU's own regulator. But they must appreciate that, on account of what we already know about the AstraZeneca vaccine in terms of its safety and effectiveness, the decision to suspend use while the necessary reviews are conducted carries consequences. As the threat of COVID-19 grows on the continent, killing and hospitalising people at a far greater rate than the reported blood clots. There is a fear that certain European nations are now endangering lives. Experts have warned that the harm caused by depriving people of access to a vaccine will likely outweigh even the worst case scenario if any link to the clotting disorders is eventually found. With the findings of the EMA's review due to be announced on Thursday, we must hope that this episode reaches a conclusion which is satisfactory for all. We've come too far to turn our back on the science now.